Thanks to the Red Cedar, East Lansing, Michigan, Spartan Stadium for the first top 10 matchup of the season. Number five in homestanding Michigan State, already with a victory over Western Michigan. Marshall, the standout receiver, one of the men deep for the Ducks. Underway and Marshall will take a knee in the end zone. Ducks get it on the 25. I'm not really worried about his personality and how he react to this atmosphere. Adams' first pass is complete. Got it out to Charles Nelson. Nelson, who didn't play last week, had a lower body injury, but that lower body appears to be quick. And this Oregon deadly third and short. Not quite as proficient on third and long. Adams, nice grab out of the backfield. And Freeman will have the first down. So Oregon. So you have Nelson back. You have Allen making his first appearance this year as well. Adams escapes a little trouble. Throws it to the outside. And there's Nelson again making a grab. First down, Ducks. And it, right here, he took a little. Best defenses in the country. Running back is Kenai Benoit. Nelson gets it out in the flat. He's got a couple of blockers. Nelson spins his way down. Close. Three receivers top of the screen. They'll keep it on the ground. Freeman. Hole, burst inside the 10 and down inside the five first and goal coming for Oregon. I've been saying that over into their preparation for this game. Give Freeman finds his way nicely into the end zone and the Ducks are on the board. So you got a new quarterback. I who threw for more than 100 touchdowns and 10,000 yards. I know it was at the FCS level. But that, <laughs> yeah. Connor Cook, a quarterback for Michigan State. Spartans will keep it on the ground. Madre London racing into duck territory, running over an Oregon defender. And that's a quick strike way to start. And the Spartans answer by in seventh ranked running back in the country, according to ESPN. Connor Cook, play fake to the end zone. You know who he's got. Josiah Price, touchdown Spartans. By the quarterback Connor Cook, and that's that's what we call an answer, right? <laughs> that was pretty quick. How about how about the roll reversal here? Both teams go 70 to score points. Byron Marshall chased back into the end zone, and this time he'll bring it out. Marshall went for a little crease. Now he breaks it back, and he's got room. He's got room and some help on the outside. Marshall does good. White turned the corner to take it to the house, but he turned to the corner and took it all the way to the house. Well, Kirk, he's the only guy in Pac-12 history to finish season with a thousand yards rushing, and then the next one, a thousand receiving. Charles Nelson appears to be on his way, maybe not to a thousand, but on his way to a hundred. But this catch is tonight. Still hit a crease and get vertical in a hurry. Adams left it, and the ball's on the ground. Freeman put it down, and Oregon was able to jump on it. But a big loss. Joel he to win it against the offense lineman, and you get penetration. Vernon Adams needs 18. He's going to get nothing and like it. Michigan State Steve. Tony Lippett last year, if you look at his numbers playing that same position, had a ton of catches. Now Connor Cook will try to convert this third down. Cook fires it into a tight window and unable to hang on out there. Joe Walker. Back and affect his vision looking downfield. Michigan State is rotating defensive lineman. Adams gets away from a sure sack, but he doesn't get away the second time. Staying after it was Critor. They've been trying to get points. Cook firing it complete. Burbridge has it. He's inside the 25, and he'll have enough for the first down. He's ready to get the ball out of his hands. London, big crease up the middle. Madre London rolling inside the 15. First down, Michigan State. Well, that left side of the offensive line. Michigan State has put Damian Terry in a quarterback. He's a good running threat, but Oregon is ready for it. They sniff it up, and Tyson Coleman knocks down. Trying to put the Spartans on top. Short field goal up on the way, and it is no good. From 28. Those quick passes to those, those receivers. 
Adams instead taking a shot, getting his man out there, and it's intercepted! Fought away and stripped away by Monte Nicholson! Nicholson with a tremendous individual play to just take the ball. And with different kind of focus. And here is a big opportunity for a stop of the Oregon defense after that turnover. Third down. Cook getting pressure underneath. McGarrett King slip away from one duck and King gets down close to the first one here. D'Antonio's going to go for it on fourth and one. Pushing ahead. Connor Cook on the keeper and he'll have first down. From 20 points down to beat Bears by one. Now trying to put Michigan State on top of Oregon. Second down and eight. Cook throwing over the middle. Got his man. First down and touchdown. Aaron Burbridge. A 17-yard passing lane. Put it right on the money. That touchdown was set up. Quick yards. Then you can go back to the inside running game of Freeman. Nelson now coming in motion. Royce Freeman. One man to beat. He slips inside him and a sure tackle hanging on by Ante. Who that can spark it. Adams pumps. Now flips it out on a little attachment play. Nelson has it again. He steps through a couple of Spartans and gets inside the 45. Another first. Adams to a wide open Braylon Addison. Addison spins away from a tackler. He's inside the 20 and dragged down finally, but it'll be first and 10 for the Ducks. So just after we send the Ducks in an unproductive series, they're right back to moving it. Finding the big tight end, Evan Bayless, and Bayless rumbles down. He'll be marked out of bounds. Gets off of him and makes the play. Now Freeman tries to go over the top and he is denied. It'll be fourth and goal. Vernon Adams wants to go. Freeman to left or to the right, and then the quarterback usually would come the other way. Adams is a tough runner. Let's see if they go that route. Boys Freeman in the backfield with Adams. Vernon sending Marshall in motion. The give is to Freeman. Freeman pushing to the goal line. Michigan State thinks they stopped him. And they did. Riley Bowler, John Reschke, and Antonio. Chance at all. Third down, Cook needs nine. He also needs to get rid of it before he gets hit. He found a security blanket, Josiah Price, a man who has a touchdown tonight, and this guy just... Cook standing in there. That was a bit of a dangerous throw. McGarrett Kings made the grab and the stretch the ball out. Terrific play by Tyree Rock. Adams ducks under one pursuer and then gets revved at the end and he has a man open. It's Hassan. How about Vernon Adams who knew he was ambidextrous also? <laughs> right. Now Adams uses his right arm and tries to put in the seam and he's picked off for the second time tonight. R.J. Williamson and that one was ill-advised and that is a mistake. <laughs> he had to count back. That's kind of what we were doing. Yale and Army are the two as Connor Cook's pass is complete the Burbridge. This is stretch that advantage here late in the first half. Back to the ground, patiently running and getting the first down is L.J. Scott. Hey, this could be a, a litmus test to find out really how far they've come up front. Cook on the move, fires it into a tight window to McGarrett Kings, and there's a flag for Michigan State. Cook. This time it is intercepted. He tempted fate a couple of times. That might have been a miscommunication, and it's picked off by Ugo Amadi. And Ugo Amadi, the freshman from Nashville, Tennessee, was sitting there waiting. Oregon with all three timeouts to work with. Vernon Adams. He checks it down. Freeman's got the edge. Freeman knocks off one man inside the 35, gets out of bounds, and stops the clock. Now they have 36 seconds to get something on the board. Soft coverage on the inside receivers. Adams bails out of there, throws it to the outside, incomplete, fourth and 11. 
explanation. Clear 30 seconds to play in the half. Fortunately for us and all of you, we've got a whole second half of this coming. Vernon Adams on fourth and 11, going to take a shot. Got a man out there. Byron Marshall was very well covered on the outside by the run game to give himself a shot. And Cook was under 50% completion percentage in the opener against Western Michigan. He's been better tonight. 12 to 17. Another good punt from Hartbarger. Braylon Addison looking for the edge. Addison's got some room and he's got a blocker. Addison turning on the Jets inside the 30. High stepping Addison into the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks. 81 yards on the punt return. Monte Nicholson had a shot to get a third non-offensive touchdown since 2010. Nobody has had more extra point on the way. It is true and not yet two minutes win for Bob Stoops at Oklahoma. On second down, Con Cook goes back to the other side of the field, finds King again, another first down for the Spartans. A highly recruited guy. He has developed a terrific leader now with good protection and good time and fires a strike and a good catch climbing the ladder is Aaron Burbridge. He has to get that shot in. Connor Cook again well protected but threw it behind and low Burbridge so it's going to bring up a fourth down. Shelton in motion. Cook finds Burbridge. And Burbridge has it inside the 10. First down and first and goal for the Spartans. Inside the 10. They'll go to the ground. L.J. Scott. Scott looking for the corner. L.J. Scott. Touchdown, Michigan State. That's the first how conservative they got last year against Oregon as the game got away from them. This year they vowed not to do the same thing. And in a close game here in the second half, the passing game. Adams wanted to throw it this time, but he is caught, corralled, and knocked down before he gets to the first down marker. John Reschke. Revo trying to turn the corner. Cook steps up, fires a dart on third down. Michigan State moves to chase. Point lead headed down toward the three and a half minute mark to play here in the third quarter. Reese Davis, Kirk Herb Street, and Heather Cox with you on a beautiful night in East Lansing. Cook down the middle. He's got his tight end, Jamal Lyles, for the catch. And Michigan State is slow, but when you get the strong side to the right, but they got in there pretty quickly. So the result of all of that is that Connor Cook had to try to convert a third and ten. Steps up in the pocket, floats it, and deflected, and then almost caught. Tyree Rodgarder, he missed. This one from 36. Ball is on the way. And this time it is true, and Michigan State has pushed lead to double. 2004 against Wazoo. If Vernon Adams can rally him. Good start to the fourth quarter for the Ducks as Royce Freeman gets out across the 45. Picked up a nice running the football. Boy, it's going to put a lot, a lot on Royce Freeman this year in the running game. Now Adams off play action down the middle. Braylon Addison makes the grab. And Addison's inside the 35. And Addison. On third and long, they flip it out to Freeman in the flat, and he tries to navigate his way through a host of green, and he can't do it. He gets to Washington. Doesn't need touchdown, just a first down on this one. Adams firing out for Addison, and it is a strike and complete, and a first down, a terrific throw from Vernon Adams. It's an absolute, very firm early in the game with a goal line stand. Boy, how big does that look about now? Adams going to keep it himself. Vernon Adams in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Good call. They follow the left arm. Matt Pearson and the running back, Royce Freeman. And this time they come up with it. Right they're learning about, hey, what, hey, man, what do you think about three? What do you think about Vernon? Like right now, they're, they're down there saying they're, they're impressed. They're learning a lot about this guy. Again, Kent feeling it to see if he could continue. And again, showed some toughness and grit there on that drive. Oh, jet sweep. R.J. Shelton. Shelton turning the corner. He's got tremendous speed. 
Dances out of bounds, gets in Oregon territory. territory. On the ground, L.J. Scott, L.J. Scott. It's supposed to first down first couple of games. <laughs> oh, down. BYU. Mark Scott just short of the first down last carry. He gets it this time and runs through another one. Scott inside the 20. Scott on his way. Will they get there? Touchdown, Michigan State. Less than a minute and a half. And just like that, Michigan State is back on top by 10. And you talk about him tonight. No call. Benoit hit immediately and stopped short of the first down. The fourth down is coming. Boy, Chris Wavered leaving his offense on the field. Inside nine minutes to play. Fourth down and down 10. Adams. Oh, a beautifully set up screen. If Bayless can get to the six, fly close quickly. Long one. Adams going to throw for it. Going to take the shot. Had a man out there and couldn't hook up with Nelson. It'll be fourth down. And they went for it on their own side of the field. Out for an injury in the locker room. Adams keeps Adams straight it. Stretch the ball across the yellow line, but the official is running in. Short of where that line was. We'll see where they put it down and how they mark it. They measured precise. An airing. But it's wow. a few links short. Now Michigan State is celebrating. And Mike Batlin, the referee in the Pac-12. Wear him out over four quarters. On third down, Connor Cook throws in complete. Box stop. Six minutes and 21 seconds left. And Freeman is back in for the Ducks at running back. Nelson in motion. Adams buying a little time and firing complete. It's Addison. Addison headed to Michigan State territory. And he's knocked down right at the fifth yard line. And against it, it, not only are they should anticipated it and lowered the boom. Adams getting heat, dances away from it, now throwing, complete, slipping a tackle is Addison. Addison knocked down inside the 15-yard line, yet another big play from Braylon Addison. And this is the type of patience helpers to live with. Five minutes, tunnel for Addison, shaking guy, Addison pushed out of bounds by Demetrius Cox and the Ducks. Thought he had a shot at the deflection. Another opportunity. Adam steps up. The boys one-on-one -on -one coverage in the back, and it's Marshall for the touchdown. This is not terribly important at this moment for Oregon. Right now, it's almost like they're just trying to feel what might work, and they just kind of threw that up and hoped that Marshall would make a play on it, and he did. Yeah, but I'd probably run the draw or the screen. Instead, they're going to let Cook throw it. He went down the middle. He overshot Burbridge and Oregon. That's as good a scenario as they could. Nelson in motion. Ducks have time to keep it on the ground. They've got Royce Freeman inside the 40-yard line in Oregon. 90 seconds left in the game. Adams taking a shot. Marshall's out there. He was by himself. And if Adams could have put it on him, the Ducks would have had the lead. Third down and seven. Spartans bringing pressure from the outside. Adams in trouble. Adams tries to get away, and he does not. A sack. Lawrence Thomas was back there, and Chris Fry finished him off. Fry's made some big plays tonight, alive. Fourth and 16. Adams stepping up. Adams firing, short hops and incomplete. Spartans take over. Did not perform in terms of wins and losses as well as they would have hoped. But everything's still out in front of the Ducks. You go out, take care of business in the Pac-12, and I agree with you 100%.
a three-point loss to this team and this stadium, this team, which I believe is really the only legitimate threat to Ohio State in the Big Ten yeah. right now, it, it, that's, that's nothing at all to be a black mark on your resume. Yeah, would you rather have played a couple FCS teams and blown them out by 40 or 50 or, or lose a game like this? I'm more impressed by losing a game like this. And for some of these Spartans who agonized over their loss a year ago in Eugene when they let a second half lead get away, a little bit of a cathartic feeling as the clock strikes zero. Mark D'Antonio, Mark Helfrich meeting.